This is Dr. Temple, a brand new uh, visit with her today. Your talks are always great, your, your movie was great. What did you think about the job that Claire Dane did? Well, I think Claire Dane did a really good job of becoming me in the uh, 60s and the 70s when I was a teenager and getting my business started. Well, Doug's uh, two girls loved the show. Everybody I've talked to loves it. Did, uh, did you enjoy the whole process? Yeah, it was really interesting, and everybody was really dedicated to it. Um, Emily Gerson Sainz, the head producer, is the mother of an autistic child, so she really wanted to make this movie be right. It's very accurate in terms of showing autism, how a visual thinker, how uh, anxiety problems, sensory oversensitivity. At uh, about age five is when you started to make your transition over from... Well, I was uh, fully verbal by age five. Uh, no, no speech at age three and a half to four. I can't emphasize enough the importance of um, early educational interventions. I mean, you got to work with these kids really young, a lot of hours. The worst thing you can do with a young autistic kid is just leave them uh, to do their self-stimming and uh, tune out. Well, you're, you're called the person who thinks like a cow. Cattle are your favorite animals, I've heard you say. The thing is, is animals are sensory-based things. You know, I think in pictures. Animals don't think in language. They think in pictures, they think in sounds, they can touch sensations. It's sensory-based thinking. It's not word-based thinking. Do you being, a, being a visual thinker, that helped me in my work with animals. Sure. You work with other animals, though? Yeah, cattle. I work with pigs and sheep, too. Dogs and cats, any and all? A little bit. More with uh, cattle. I have some dog problems you might be able well, to help me with. What kind of dog problems? Getting them to uh, behave and do what we want them to do, respond when they're young. We have a new puppy called Tater. What kind of a puppy is Yeah, he's a mixed breed. He's my favorite kind of dog. And he doesn't like to respond to his name at any tips. Well, you want to make sure when you first hit a person's name that you're not screaming and yelling at him because otherwise you think his name is associated with being bad. And sometimes that mistake's made because the people get mad at dog and say, okay, Joe, come, come, and they're yelling at him. Well, then his name becomes something bad. Well, your work with autism is, is very admirable. Do you spend more time on that or more time with ranchers? Well, I spend a lot of time on autism, too, but I want to still be doing livestock things because that's my real job. And one of the big things I work on is you know, get some of these smart, quirky, nerdy kids employed. See, autism is a big spectrum going from uh, someone who remains nonverbal for their whole life all the way up to the geniuses on Silicon Valley. And we've been you know, working with some of the uh, you know, sustainable agriculture things. There's a lot of quirky, nerdy kids where this would be a great field for them to be in. You know, you've got to find something they can kind of believe in and do, but also find mentors that can mentor them and get them turned around. When I was in high school, I didn't want to study, but my science teacher convinced me that I needed to study because if I wanted to become a scientist, then I needed to study. And something that's interesting, I've heard you say that yeah, you get right. bored about things fairly. Yeah. Okay. Well, the thing stimulate. about being on the, on the autistic spectrum is you get fixated on just one thing. Well, you can take that fixation and broaden it out. You can get these kids out and show them interesting things, and then get fixated on something they can turn into a career. Well, my daughter, as I told you, was 25 uh, just recently, and she would be uh, delighted to get uh, your movie and your signature here. Okay. We're at the Acres USA conference, and uh, Dr. Dr. Grandin has been uh, speaking. Her movie is going on right now for people who haven't seen it yet. And, uh, thank you for taking the time to visit us. Very I appreciate it.